Hey buddies, Sonus Guy here. Hope you're having an awesome day so far. In this video, we are going to be teaching you about the loot and potential secrets of the Wild West room. And this one is actually a room that you can spend a bit of time in and actually has a good amount of resources. Although getting down the process for doing it efficiently is definitely going to make a big difference as to whether this room is worth spending the time in or not. First things first, I usually run around the bottom floor looking for these types of chests. Often you find chests that are clumped up together so that you can vein mine them. Vein mining chests is great because it's going to be saving you time. Of course, if you're at the point where you have a Paxel and you're mining chests, otherwise you're going to be looting as per normal, chucking the items out and scooping up with your magnet, most likely. Both of these middle buildings, the middle buildings usually have some form of loot in them. I jump on the top, I break the chest on the top, and then I poke through, see what I can see through here. Sometimes there's two, there can be one on each of those chains, sometimes there's just one. Hit the gilded loot and move on to this one over here. Now there is also in one of the other uh, room variants, we got two of the same little mini structures. There is a different structure that can appear here. And in that structure, there is a basement. So in that one, you can go into the basement. There is no basement in these ones. But if you get the other type of structure that can spawn in the middle, not this one that has spawned twice in this room, there is a basement there as well, which has usually two gilded chests and at least one regular chest as well. I just found what I wanted to show you, which is one, uh, the different variant of the middle spawn room. You always have a gilded chest there, usually one or two chests here. And then if you pop down, there is a basement with usually two gilded chests and at least one other chest as well. Just look out for the TNT. There are usually at least two gilded chests on the roofs here. So there's one over there. There's one over there. If you're early game and you're using pearls, you know, you want to pearl up to the top and then pearl across from chest to chest. And obviously, if you have uh, something like a jetpack or some other uh, way to fly or something, then you can just fly around. Now, in my world, I have a mining gadget and I can sort of from a distance, I can vein mine and laser these walls. So normally what I do is I fly on my jetpack and I'll go like this and I, I will just clear out a lot of these, a lot of these structures because a lot of these and I can do it from further away with my mining gadget, of course. And then I can see, you know, all the chests and all the loot. And it usually takes me about three seconds to clear, you know, a space that large. And then I can just go, you know, pop down here, boop, get that. And then I can go over here and there's two chests here. So I can vein mine those. And then I can fly over, you know, boop, get that one. And there's two here, lovely. So I can just land and, and be able to grab both of those real quickly. Um, and you can kind of go, go through this. Now, this is why, you know, if you do this slowly, it's probably not worth the effort. But if you can do it fairly quickly, you know, you got a jetpack to get around or something that allows you to get around quickly. Or you could just be, you know, you could just be mining through here like this and then just, you know, jumping across. However, you know, the speed at which you can do this is what's going to determine. This is this is a good part. There's usually two, sometimes three chests in a group here. Um, so, yeah, there's quite a good, quite a lot of potential for grouped up chests that will allow you to vein mine them, which is really, really nice. Scooping up all that beautiful loot down here honestly i don't often go down here there's a couple of chests down here as well um, but nothing particularly special or hidden down here and that pretty much is that for these rooms you obviously want to avoid the tnt everything is unstable tnt so you know if you mine it it will explode um if you just touch it it'll it'll, it'll light itself up and, and start to explode so you do have to be careful of the tnt in here additionally if you find this variant of this room which is the special variant with the train in it Right here, you've got some elevators. So these are the types of elevators uh, that are used to do, say, hold up, that are used to do this. So you can grab those elevators from up there. And also, lastly, you have some secret Easter egg items. You've got player heads and uh, some various bits and pieces to do with the developers uh, and people that are involved in Vault Hunters. Hello! In here, and you got like a little Mookie Tanuki over there. So pretty cool, pretty cool variant of the room, some elevators and some, uh, some stuff and things. But that, ladies and gentlemen, is this room, the loot you can get, and kind of how to go about doing it efficiently. Alrighty guys, if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more videos like this, consider subscribing. I go live on Twitch every day except Monday and Friday. I also run a Vault Hunters SMP server, which you guys would be welcome to join. All you have to do to get on that server is join the Twitch channel, earn 3,000 channel points, and then unlock the channel points, uh, unlock the whitelist through the channel point redemptions. And you'll be able to join us. Alrighty guys, hope you have an awesome rest of your day. Take care.